today we're going to make from my volume 5 cookbook raw granola. So it's raw granola, super easy to make, quick breakfast. You can make this in bulk and have it throughout the week. So let's get cooking. It's on page 22 if you have the cookbook and want to follow along. So what you're going to need is half an ounce of nuts. It could be any nuts you have. Right now I have walnuts and peanuts and a assorted blend of almonds, pecans, and pistachio kernels. Then you're going to need a half ounce total of both ground flax seeds. I already ground it just this morning so it's nice and fresh and some chia seeds. Then you're going to need cinnamon, sea salt, uncooked oats, and a banana. So let's start. So first we're going to add our nuts to a food processor. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my scale on and I'm going to set my food processor bowl right on top and then you can just weigh it right there. So we're going to do a half ounce total of our nuts. So a little sprinkle of walnuts, sprinkle of peanuts, and I have 0.1 ounce left. So I'm going to do a sprinkle of, looks like almonds, 0.5. Then we're going to add our chia seed, so let's zero our scale and do our chia and flax seed. Same thing, just a little bit of each. I'm going to pour some of my ground flax seed in and some of my chia seeds. Then we're going to add our cinnamon and sea salt. So we're going to do a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. I'm just going to do a couple dashes because I really like cinnamon, but it's up to you how much you want to do. And then a sprinkle of sea salt. Then I'm going to put this on my food processor and we're going to pulse it to make our nuts into really small pieces, but we don't want it to be too ground like the flax seed, just so they're a little bit smaller pieces. So before I add that back to my mixture, I'm gonna take my banana and I'm gonna cut two ounces of this. So we wanna put two ounces in our bowl, so let's zero our scale. And just keep chopping till we get to two. Two ounces, perfect. So now I'm gonna mash this banana. So about like that. Some chunks, but that's okay. So now we're gonna add all of our ingredients together. So we're gonna do one ounce of oats. One ounce. And then we're going to get our nuts from the food processor. So it should look about like so. Just kind of small pieces. Nothing too big, nothing too small. And it's okay if some of your nuts are left whole because that just adds to the crunchy granola-ness. So let's pour that all in our bowl. And now we're going to mix this all together. So it should look about like this. Now we get to side it with four ounces fruit because we only use two ounces banana and a half a protein. So let's make a parfait. So I'm going to take this bowl and I have some frozen blueberries and I might add some of that banana that I have left. So let's do, let's do a couple chunks of this banana. And let's finish off with blueberries. So I have about 0.8 ounces. So I'm not going to zero the scale, I'm just going to add blueberries until it says 4 ounces. Oop, a little bit 
too much, so put some back. There we go, four ounces. So you could do this as is, or stick it in the microwave and thaw your blueberries a little bit. I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna put it in for about 30 seconds. And while that's going, I'm gonna grab my yogurt. This is plain Greek yogurt. Okay, our blueberries are thawed. I'm just gonna mix them up just a little bit. Chop up my banana, make it smaller. And now I'm gonna place my bowl in my scale, zero the scale, and we get half a protein. So half a protein of yogurt is four ounces. So let's do four ounces in our parfait. Okay, that's four ounces. So I'm gonna mix this up a little bit to get my to get my yogurt to be blueberry banana flavored. You could do any fruit if you don't like blueberries or bananas. You could do strawberry mango. You could do just banana. You could do just blueberries. The the possibilities are endless. So here's doesn't the blueberries just give it such a pretty color? Now I'm going to add my raw nola on top. Just fluff it up a little bit, break up the big pieces, and put it right on top. And there you go. A beautiful blueberry banana raw nola parfait. And now the real test. Let's taste it, and then I'm going to go enjoy my breakfast. Mmm. So good. The cinnamon and the salt in the ranola with the banana is perfect. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. If you like this, it's in my volume 5 cookbook. If you like this recipe, check out my other cookbooks. You can find them on my website at weightlossrecipesforbrightlinescookbook.com or follow me on my Facebook page. And that's Weight Loss Recipes for Brightline's cookbook on Facebook, or follow me on Instagram too. Hit the subscribe button below. Thanks for watching. With joy, Natalie.